well, this is so spacious and so clean, and the outdoor um, scenery is just awesome. Every room is so spacious, whereas the other hospital, because it was built long ago, was very crowded. And um, this is just a spark in our community to have this gorgeous building here. Well, I, my comment to the staff when I saw them, I said, you must feel like you're going into heaven. <laughs> and I think it's beautiful. It's quite a facelift for in a plot. I, I, I just been very impressed with everything. We do uh, ovarian cysts. We do appendectomies, tubal ligations. We do um, tubal pregnancy. Those are probably the main ones that we do. Mm -hmm. And they're, the technology is trying to improve all the time. They're trying to do um, bowel cases with them now. Um, and then we have smaller scopes that we do other things with, like knee arthroscopies mm -hmm. and uh, uh, wrist and shoulder scopes. Right. We'll see. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Go down. Yeah. Yeah. Talk. Talk. Within the community, to, to have a facility that is upgraded the way this one is, has the, the, the facilitation for like the CT scans that we've had to use a mobile trailer for over the years. Um, I, I had a heart attack a couple years ago and had to use a, one of the ambulance services. So to actually have it this close to home and, and be able to have the care provided it is just an awesome thing and I think it's about time. <laughs> We've been here for, for many years. My wife's born and raised here, and I've lived here for the best part of 30 years. So it's just it's wonderful to have the, the hospital here in the community. And I just wish it well and, and hope that it continues to prosper and grow. This bed is specialized for critical care patients in that it does everything a bed typically does. The popular feature, though, is the um, translation and the sound therapy. The translation section of the bed speaks 22 languages um, until we get an interpreter um, up from the emergency room department, we can utilize the bed. And we're going to ask the patient, how do you, do you have pain? Siente dolor? So the patient is able to say yes to no, or no to these simple commands. Another popular feature, sound therapy. So sound therapy is important in the critical care unit because if our patients are sedated and on breathing machines, ventilators, um, we can decrease our sedation medication if they're very calm. So that's very important and they heal quicker. We have either natural sounds like birds or the streams or we can also do music. One thing I've always been proud of as a nurse at Union Claw is we are a small department and our patients have always had really good one-on-one -on -one care, but we lacked a lot of the niceties and some of the technology that um, other facilities have. In the past, a lot of families have chosen to go outside of our community for these type of amenities, and now we have them and I think that's going to keep them in our community, which is just better for them. They won't have to commute to another hospital. Um, we are going to be able to offer all the services that go along with, with having a baby also, such as ultrasound services, laboratory services, um, emergency room care for their children down, down the road. So I think it's just going to be a win-win for everybody in our community. We're excited about the new birth center. Definitely. With the new baby coming, it's amazingly organized. It's yeah. well built, there's good flow to it. It's, and it's an amazing really place. pretty. Definitely. It is a very pretty hospital. Yeah, we were really hoping. We were excited to hear from our birthing doctor that it was going to be ready by the time Sean was born. So, yeah, yeah very excited.